now, but I knew I hadn't destroyed you. My final failure. Was it worth it? Everything you did to the world, to yourself. I'll be right back, Jeremy. All we can do is wait for the end. What do you mean? What's ending? The irony that you should appear now of all the possibility. All that I fought for, all that I betrayed, what have I wrought? Ruin and death, that is nothing else. The Elder One comes for me, for you, for us all. <sighs> Felix. That's Felix. Make his breath, Alexius. What have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. Hand over the amulet and we let him go. Let him go and I swear you get what you want. I want the world back. <laughs> no. No! Oh well, so much for that idea.
I don't know where. Cassandra fell. Up here, maybe? Ah, oh, there she is. told himself the justifications he lost Felix long ago he didn't even notice oh Alexius this Alexius was too far gone but the Alexius in our time might still be reasoned with I suppose that's true this is the same amulet he used before I think it's the same one we made in Minrathus it's really Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! Oh yeah. make this count the only way we live is if this day never comes cast your spell you have as much time as I have hours though darkness closes I am shielded by flame. <coughs> Andraste, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die! <coughs> You'll have to do better than that. Put aside all claim to Redcliffe, and we let you live. You won. There is no point extending this charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, Father. You die. Everyone dies. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's over with. Yep. Grand Enchanter, we'd like to discuss your abuse of our hospitality. Your Majesties, when we offered the Major Sanctuary, we did not give them the right to drive our people from their home. King Alistair, Queen Anora, I assure you, we never intended... In light of your actions, good intentions are no longer enough. <laughs> you and your followers have worn out your welcome. 
Leave Ferelden, or we'll be forced to make you leave. But we have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? The Inquisition might be willing to take in the mages. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? I know you are a mage, but consider how these rebels have acted. They must be conscripted, not coddled. I've known a lot of mages. They can be loyal friends if you let them. Friends who make bad decisions, but still loyal. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. We would be honored to have you fight as allies at the Inquisition's side. We'll discuss this later. I'll pray that the rest of the Inquisition honors your promise then. The breach threatens all of Thedas. We cannot afford to be divided <coughs> now. We can't fight it without you. Any chance of success requires your full support. <coughs> it's a generous <coughs> offer. I doubt you're going to get a better one from us. We accept. It would be madness not to. I will gather my people and ready them for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. You will not regret giving us this chance. All right. That takes care of that problem. Now if we can just turn the Templars. Something tells me that's going to be a little more difficult. At least we knew the mages intended to join us. But this one man, this it's one idiot. It's not a matter for debate. There will be abominations among the mages and we must be prepared. If we rescind the offer of an alliance, it makes the Inquisition appear incompetent at best, a tyrannical at worst. Mm -hmm. What were you thinking, turning mages loose with no oversight? The veil is torn open. We need them to close the breach. It's not going to work if we make enemies of them. I know we need them for the breach, but they could do as much damage as the demons themselves. You were there, Seeker. Why didn't you intervene? While I may not completely agree with the decision, I support it. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. Here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. <laughs> Closing the breach is all that matters. Closing the breach will require a lot of magic, and that means Lyria. I have contacts who can help. Contacts meaning smugglers? <coughs> Send them word. We need every advantage. We have legitimate Lyrium supply lines already. And they don't need to hear of this. Keep it under the table, and I'll do what I can to quiet rumors. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tavinta cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark after all. <coughs> of course. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're staying. Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice. But let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? <laughs> I'll begin preparations to march on 